Good afternoon, uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes, former professor of uh, electrical engineering and had been a department head in our department for not so long years. Okay, uh, my topic uh, today will be volume still on integral calculus and it is under the topic hollow cylinder method. Okay, I, I will now try to start. Lesson number 69 under my channel under the topic integral calculus under volume under the hollow cylinder method for uh, this afternoon hollow cylinder method as applied to the right circular cone or to right circular cone uh, this afternoon I will derive the formula for taking the volume of a right circular cone by using the hollow cylinder method because under circular disk okay we already have uh, uh, derived the formula using actually two solutions using the vertical and horizontal slice and under those two uh, solutions actually the resulting volume formula are the same so hopefully this afternoon by using the hollow cylinder method again we will derive the same formula but using the hollow cylinder method okay uh, i will try to read the problem Derive the volume of a right circular cylinder using the hollow cylinder method. Meaning, uh, we are given the radius of the right circular cylinder and we are given the altitude and we are asked to find the relation of volume with respect to the radius and edge and the Required relation or formula supposed to be is pi r square edge, but this afternoon it is by using the hollow cylinder method. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the picture. Uh, it's always a must that uh, we should uh, grab our uh, object on the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, y axis x-axis this is the right circular cylinder as seen from this okay uh, actually it is something like this it is something like this okay oh i will just uh, draw the horizontal and vertical line so it will not uh, uh, get dirty you know? this is the diameter this is the radius and this is the altitude and I draw the right circular cylinder to be symmetrical with respect to the y-axis meaning the center of the right circular cylinder coincides with the y-axis okay so <coughs> this length here is actually the radius of the right circular cylinder and this height here is the edge so if we try to place the coordinates of the first corner of the right, circ right circular cylinder this should be R0. The top portion will be R and H. The abscissa is R, the ordinate is H. So this is R and H. This is R and 0. Okay? And by using the hollow cylinder method, actually we will set up a vertical slice. This is the vertical slice. Right? The thickness will be the X. Why the X? It is along the X axis. And the distance of this differential area from the center, from the axis of rotation, is radius, it is designated by x. This link here is x. Okay? And uh, since dx is variable, it moves from this point up to this point. So we place r here to be x. Why x? Uh, x is variable. Okay? Uh, this point on the horizontal splice will be y higher the lower point will be y lower okay so if we try to bring out the horizontal slice 
this is y higher, this is y lower, the thickness is dx. Okay? And the height, the height is actually y higher minus y lower. This height here is the ordinate here minus the ordinate here as dx moves from 0 to r. It varies. Okay. If we now try to rotate uh, <coughs> this uh, horizontal slice or vertical slice rather, it will be something like this. It will come out like this. Okay. This should be the center of axis of rotation. This is the rotation. Okay. So this is R and it is equal to X. The thickness which we rotate is actually dx. And the height of the differential area is a height is actually y higher minus y lower. Okay, uh, to visualize the computation of the volume, uh, we cut this one on one side, then we try to spread out. What will come out is this. The area uh, represented by the crosshatch uh, red uh, ink is actually the total surface around. Okay, and actually we could compute for the area of this one because this is edge and this total length, the one that goes around, the one that goes around in the cylinder is actually the circumference. And we know from lower mathematics that circumference is uh, 2 pi times the radius. So I, I place it here, circumference is 2 pi x. This is 2 pi x, this is y higher minus y lower. Okay, and the thickness is dx. So to compute for the volume, multiply h by the circumference times thickness. So if we now try to set up differential volume as a solution, we set up the differential volume. Uh, we will set up the differential equation required for us to integrate the total volume. Differential volume from that one is circumference times thickness times height. Okay, where circumference is 2 by x. This is the variable radius. Thickness is the x. And the height, oh, luckily, as it rotates along the y-axis, okay, y higher and y lower does not change. So we are just lucky for a right circular cylinder, we are just lucky. They don't vary, okay? So actually, H is actually y higher minus y lower. And y higher is H, a horizontal line. And y lower is 0, is also a horizontal line. Meaning, <coughs> the equation of the top portion of the right circular cylinder is represented by y higher. It is a straight line. Okay? And the bottom portion of the bottom portion of the right circular, right circular cylinder is also a horizontal line and actually y lower is actually zero. It is also a horizontal line. We are just lucky for a right circular cylinder y higher is h, y lower is zero. Uh, y higher is uh, h, so it's a constant. Uh, it does not vary as we rotate. y lower also is zero. As it rotates, y lower does not change. It's, it's also zero. So actually, this is a straight line. This is a straight line. We are just lucky. Okay, the given problem uh, give us the y higher and y lower to be not complicated. So if we try to substitute now, differential volume will be 2 pi x, we are following this, times dx, times height, which is y higher minus y lower, which is x minus 0. Or this will be gone, right? So the resulting differential equation will be differential volume will be 2 pi x x dx. This is now a differential equation. That is how actually our next uh, topic because after finishing differential calculus and integral calculus we will go with differential equation. That's another course. Uh, this is now an intro to a differential equation. So differential volume is 2 pi h x dx. This is a differential equation. 
So to compute for the required volume, if we try to rotate the vertical slice one uh, rotation uh, with respect to the y-axis, one complete rotation with respect to the y-axis, we must have to integrate both sides. So integrating, the integral of differential volume will be the integral of 2 pi x dx, I just read this one. Okay, uh, let's go with the limits. For the limits, uh, our variable is x, right? So dx moves from 0 to r. Uh, this dx here moves from 0 to r, okay, to complete the volume. Okay, so the lower limit is actually 0 and the upper limit is actually x equal to r. So the limit on the right hand side will be from 0 to r. Okay, uh, 2 pi x is uh, the height is uh, constant so it will it could come out. So this is 2 pi x the integral from 0 to r of x dx. And we are just lucky uh, this falls under the power formula. Where the value of u is x, du is dx, it is exact. Okay, therefore volume now will be 2 pi x, power formula. This should be x square over 2. x raised to 1 plus 1, that is actually 2 all over 2. With the limit from 0 to r. Placing the limits now, what will come out will be r square over 2, minus 0. Uh, when x is r, this will be r square over 2. And when x is 0, 0 square, 0 square is actually 0. And 0 over 2 is also 0. So actually the value of the lower limit will be minus 0, or this will be cut. The lower limit has no effect on the final formula. Then these two here cancel with this. So the final formula for taking the volume of a right circular cylinder as a function of radius in altitude is actually volume is equal to pi r square times h. That's our answer. We know for a fact that the volume for a right circular cylinder is pi r square h. Where it originated or emanates, it is actually derived from integral radius. And this is the final formula. Volume for a right circular cylinder using the hollow cylinder method is actually pi r square. Uh, we run smooth because uh, before going with this uh, problem, we studied the last time around the concepts of the hollow cylinder method. Okay, uh, good afternoon, Los Angeles.